It's a trip back in time on Secrets of Bluegrass Shops. Been coming there ever since I was about six. Back in the 50s, we started coming in here. Hasn't changed a bit. We're eating out and driving in at Lexington's famous Parkette. The old diner experience. Yes, sir, we're having right out. Fried chicken. Best in the country. Chicken is unbelievable. I could say best in the world. I think it is. Chili dogs. The only only. Tater tots. It's phenomenal. And of course, the ever popular poor boy. Two poor boys. Oh, yeah. This is a poor boy. Poor boy. Not a poor boy. That's New Orleans. We're digging into that and uncovering some cool Lexington history, too. That's the best part. This is what mama told you never to do. Come with us behind the scenes at a Lexington landmark right now on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Ready to cook? Try one. <laughs> That's downtown Triple Crown. Oh. I love that. Tim Laird with another edition of Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, this time at a Lexington landmark where you can eat inside, get it to go, or have it in your car. Yes, sir, we're having it right out. Two poor boys, both of those with fries. Oh, yeah. We're at the famous Parkette Drive-In. Parkette, can I help you? A poor boy, no tomato, no onion with fries, and a chicken strip kids meal with fries. The Parkette is a piece of Lexington history. The Parkette opened in 1951. And all these years later, it's still alive and well. This place has been here for more than 60 years. It's a landmark and icon. The first time that I ever came here to drive in years and years ago. My first trip here was probably back in the 70s, early 70s. It was a hot rod hangout in the 60s, definitely. Back in the 50s, we started coming in here. They had their very first date here. People that got engaged here. We come here every Friday night when we start dating. We come here ever since. I was 14. He was 19. We're very proud of the fact that they reopened this landmark. The Parkhead has seen its share of different owners over the years. It even closed for a while until a pair of brothers brought the landmark back to life. I was driving by and I saw on the, on the marquee from the, for the Parkhead, it says for sale or lease, and the rest is history. Jeff Kaplan used to own nine subway stores around town. His brother Randy was a police officer, one of Lexington's finest. And now I'm cooking Lexington's finest. Together, the Kaplan brothers have brought the Parkhead back to the good times. That's our slogan, welcome back to the good times. <laughs> took it down to the studs, took it down to the floorboards, and uh, rebuilt the Parkhead as to what you see today. They spent eight months renovating the building and found some interesting things along the way. A Fall City beer can in the wall from the days when you had to use church keys to open them. They even found a three cent stamp. Those relics are still here today on display. We try and preserve as much of the history as we can. That's the beauty of it. That is the big licks. The recipes are the same too just the way Joe Smiley created them back in 1951. We try to keep everything as authentic as, as we can. I usually order the Smiley Boy. A pork tenderloin, fried pork tenderloin sandwich, very good. And your patty melt. That's the patty melt. The only one. That's the chili dog. The poor boys. Uh, poor boys. Uh, poor boys. Two poor boys. Oh, yeah. Not a poor boy. That's New Orleans. Poor boy, no pickle with onion rings and a medium mountain day. And this is a poor boy. Fries and some white gravy. The poor boy is that double decker hamburger that is a staple here at the Parkette. Joe Smiley created the poor boy back in the 40s during the coal miner strikes when money for food was hard to come by. So he created a burger that would feed a, a lot of people for very little money and he called it the poor boy. The second double decker burger ever created in the country. It's at least 15 years older than the Big Mac. Years ago, you could get a poor boy and fries for just 95 cents. It's a little more these days, but it's still a bargain and a Parkette favorite. The poor boy, everybody always did the poor boy. I always liked the poor boy, but it's my favorite. We're gonna cook our world famous poor boy. We use an 80-20 ground beef six to one yeah, burger. Yeah. In layman's terms, 
That means 20% fat and six patties to a pound. We'll do a little salt and pepper blend. As soon as it turns brown, you know it's ready to flip. Beautiful. Takes about four minutes to cook. All right, these are ready to go. We're going to dress it on the bun. The buns are a local favorite, too. Baked right here in the bluegrass. We use Klosterman's buns. Put them in the toaster, golden brown. You have your toast marks. We use parquet sauce or fortified mayo, very similar to Miracle Whip. It's got a sweet, zippy flavor. Then, a pile of shredded lettuce. And we'll do a dollop of mustard in the middle. American cheese. Each bun gets a burger. Then on the top bun, nice thick slab of onion, tomato, a couple slices of dill pickle. Stack it up, spear with a frill pick, put it in a dine-in basket, add some onion rings. That's the poor boy. You will not leave hungry. I ordered the po' boy and it was fantastic. I and love it, it's great. I had to have a second one, you think one will do? If you can eat more than one poor boy, you might want to upgrade to this newer Park Ed Classic. The Bopper, the true name of it, Big Mouth Bourbon Barbecue Bacon Burger. But we call it the Bopper because it's a lot easier and more fun to say than that. It's two certified Angus beef patties. Two slices of American cheese. Bacon and an onion ring, then Barbecue sauce. It's hard to go wrong with a uh, onion ring on top of your hamburger as well as some bacon and some sweet barbecue sauce. Really good. Called the Big Bopper. We're the Big Bopper. The Big Bopper. Bourbon and BBQ. Really good. Good. <laughs> the Parquet menu is full of goodness, so stick around. Coming up, we'll dig into the dessert known as the Colossal Car Crash. It'll feed at least two people. Plus, what some say is the best fried chicken in the country. I could say best in the world, I think it is. The chicken is unbelievable. We have an order up, please. You'll find out what makes it that way still to come at the Parkhead Drive-In on Secrets of Bluegrass Shop. Yet another secret from Parkhead. Tim Laird with you again with more Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. This time, we're at the Parquet Drive-In, a Lexington landmark since 1951 and home of the Poor Boy. Parquet, can I help you? I want two Poor Boys. You want fries with those Poor Boys? Yes. Then get them since 1966. Two Poor Boys, both of those with fries. Oh yeah, really 1963. That's great. Excellent. <laughs> Order up. Business is booming at the park at 7, 11, 12, 9, please. Pretty busy. Yes, Thank you. So much so that the Parkette's newest owners, Jeff and Randy Kaplan, were running out of room. That's why they built this. They call it the dining garage. We added 1,700 square feet. We have six beautiful big garage doors. We've added 90 seats outside. So we have an opportunity to bring everybody in in a nice temperature controlled environment. When it's a little bit cooler, we just close the garage doors. People are comfortable. Retro 50s dining room, retro 50s garage. When the weather's nice, garage doors are up, ceiling fans are going. It's a hot spot for hot rods, especially on Friday nights. American classics, just incredible stuff out here. Incredible stuff coming out of the kitchen too. The Parkettes, famous burgers and shakes. I have a strawberry shake, a vanilla shake, and I was also making chocolate balls. And a row of deep fryers with all the favorites. Fish sandwich. Chicken box. And tater tots. Final pack fries. These two are designated for fries, tots, and rings only. We'll cook our chicken tenders, our pork sandwiches. Those are our funnel cake fries. You do not have to go to the Bluegrass Fair anymore to get funnel cakes. The funnel cake fries are awesome. We cook our wings and our livers in these two fryers at a lower temperature. The chicken livers are a favorite, and they got the best gravy in town. We have a, a pepper gravy. It's thick. The gravy is dunkable for anything. Just dunk it. Dip your fries in it. Put, dip your chicken in it. Tots, it's beautiful. Gravy and tater tots. Gravy and fries. It's the best in town. That's the secret to it all. Can't go wrong with that. Try one. 
<laughs> and if you like your burgers big, you gotta check out the Big Lex. Oh, you got your bacon, your barbecue sauce, you got some fried onions, two patties, cheese. Very popular. The Big Lex goes on Texas toast, which is buttered and grilled. Toast goes on the grill. Bacon goes on the grill, two slices of American cheese. We start each day with onions that we saute, that we pan cut fresh. They pile all that on top of two burger patties and then slather it with barbecue sauce. That is the Big Lex. Best sandwich here. Yeah. We'll wrap it up. Gotta love that Big Lex. Ready to serve. The Big Lex is a newer addition to the Parkette menu, as is this, a burger based on another Kentucky classic that dates all the way back to 1926. We're going to cook our newly famous Parkette Original Hot Brown Burger. You can only get it here. This one starts with a certified Angus beef patty. Beautiful, still sizzling. And if it's a hot brown, it's got to have bacon. Everything's better with bacon. So we have our patty, our American cheese, thin slice deli turkey, crisscross your bacon. Normally a hot brown would have a Mornay sauce. We wanted to do something that's a little zippier. This is actually an Alfredo mix. A fresh tomato tops that. And this is Parkett's very own hot brown burger. Can't get it anywhere else. Put that with some tots and you are in business. But be sure to save room for dessert. I have a strawberry shake, a vanilla shake, and I'm about to make a chocolate ball. And if you're really hungry, steer your way into a colossal car crash. The Parkette's biggest dessert. It'll feed at least two people. So we're gonna use three scoops of vanilla ice cream. And we're gonna take our brownie, and we're gonna cut that in half. Make a nice wedge on the sides. And then hot fudge goes all over the top. And get this. Funnel cake fries. We may be the only ones doing it. Fried, hot, crispy, sweet, ready to go. They are perfect. Put our funnel cake fries in. And then why not? A pile of whipped cream and of course, a cherry on top. It's pretty tasty. Buckle up, because the best is yet to come. Crispy, moist and tender, full of flavor. The secret to the Parkette's famous fried chicken. That's a big secret to reveal. But we're doing it next on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Beautiful. with you again with more Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, this time at the Parkhead Drive-In, where you can get great food. Patty milk, chili dog, pork boys, chicken strips, hamburger, gravy and fries. Can't go wrong with that. Food is excellent. And a side of Lexington history. The Parkette opened on New Circle Road in 1951. When the road ended out here, they didn't have black pop. That particular night when they opened, it was raining. So he actually hired a wrecker to be able to pull people from out of the mud. So that was a long time ago. It went extremely well. It was the place to be. And folks are still coming back here today. Uh, I've come to Parkhead for years. 10, 15 years ago, that in the 60s. Well, I've been coming to Parkhead since really I was probably in grade school. 20? I don't know. New Circle Road is what it is today because of the Parkhead. This was supposed to be a continuous beltway, a 22 mile loop around the entire city uh, without traffic lights or anything. And when Joe Smiley uh, bought his piece of property here and he opened up, uh, it literally changed this entire section of the city. The more things have changed, times have changed a lot. The more they've stayed the same, at least here at the park, yeah. Hasn't changed a bit. We're a cook to order restaurant. Fries, onion rings, or tops with that. Fries. And we make everything fresh. 
grab it out when ready. Thank you. The Parkette is a family business run by brothers Jeff and Randy Kaplan. It really truly is a family business. Along with their wives and daughters. Work and family. Yep, family business and we have so much fun. You might even catch their parents hanging around. That's my folks down there. We're very proud of these boys. They've worked extremely hard to have, make this happen. We're happy too, Dad, because the Park Ed has some of the best fried chicken around. Oh, it's good. You can tell by the size of most of us that it's good. <laughs> This is the best chicken you've ever had. The chicken is unbelievable. It's been that way for almost 62 years now. This was known as Kentucky Fried Chicken when Joe Smiley opened the parquet in 1951. At the same time, Colonel Sanders was using the term. They both used the name until 1974 when Joe Smiley won a lawsuit for the rights to the name, but then he sold it to the Colonel for $30,000 and the rest is history. The secret is out. And now, Randy Kaplan is revealing the secrets to the Parkett's fried chicken. This is what Mama told you never to do. It's a secret we get to do it here. They do it now, just like they've always done it. We do it the authentic Southern way. We hand roll, hand bread, fresh chicken, and cook it in lard. The key to the flavoring and the texture is the lard. The only thing we cook in lard is our fried chicken. These are 50 pound cubes of lard, which is the only way to cook fried chicken. It takes 75 pounds of lard to fill each fryer. 150 to 200 pounds of, of lard a week. Yeah, they go through a lot of lard. And our delivery man from Cisco. That's Mike, he's my friend. The lard is heated to 300 degrees and melted down. You can see, as soon as it starts getting liquefied through here, then the rest of it will just melt very rapidly. Now for the batter. It's a beautiful, simple recipe that we have been using at Parkette for more than 60 years. We use a dozen eggs, and I'll show you another secret how to crack eggs. A lot of people use the side of the bowl and one hand crack an egg, but the key to keeping the shell out is actually hitting the pointy part and the side of the egg. And that's how we keep the shells out of the batter. I like whisking my eggs first. Then another secret that I'll reveal to you, which I do, is I actually introduce half the milk first. Then another secret, that way when I introduce my dry spices, you don't get this muddy texture. Season salt, and we mix that in. Regular salt. And then the Parkette's secret ingredient. It's pretty simple, actually. Black pepper. That's the secret ingredient. The black pepper gives it just enough bite and also adds a nice dark color to the consistency of our, of our skin on our chicken. We get fresh chicken. What I'm gonna do is introduce this to the wet batter. You wanna drain off the batter, introduce it to the flour, it's just all-purpose flour. So you get nice and coated with the flour. We actually introduce the flour by rolling it just like we do right here. We bang off the flour. That's part of the key as well. Then you'll lay it in your basket. And we're cooking. We'll stir it all up and make sure that it's rolling in the lard. It gets cooked nice and evenly. And then it'll come up in 20 minutes, golden brown, hot, piping, juicy. It's delicious. And there we go. Parkette fried chicken. Golden, crispy, moist and tender, full of flavor. Beautiful. Oh, it's awesome. Ready to go. I just love it. We love it too. Thanks to Randy and Jeff for revealing their secrets and taking us back to the good times at the Park Hat. That'll do it for this edition of Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. I'm Tim Laird and we'll see you next time. I love you for that. <laughs>